The Sultana was a twin paddle wheel steamboat that was being utilized at the end of the Civil War to ferry passengers and particularly captured Union soldiers back to the North that had recently been released from Andersonville and Cahaba prisons in the South. And on the early morning of April the 27th of 1865, at about 2 a.m., the boiler system on the steamboat exploded. This tragedy, which killed an estimated 1,200 people that we know for sure, resulted in total casualties of nearly 2,200 people of which 2,000 were just released prisoners of war. This tragedy has been the greatest maritime disaster in all of United States history. This tragedy is very comparable to the more famous Titanic, yet it's much more egregious. It's, it's a much more uh, disastrous event for American history because all of the passengers and crew members aboard the steamboat were all Americans. Most people who know anything about American history are well aware of the names of the great battles. But so few people know about the Sultana tragedy. It occurred less than two weeks after the end of the Civil War, and it is referred to as the last great tragedy of the Civil War. We do have a few small pieces of wood from the steamboat. We have artifacts from the people who were aboard the boat, personal items of which today were family heirlooms of the descendant families of the men aboard the Sultana. And we have their personal artifacts, their personal possessions. These exhibits brought in several thousand people to learn the story. And we decided at that point that it was necessary to make the whole country aware of this unknown story. And so in 2013, we formed a nonprofit organization called the Sultana Historical Preservation Society, Inc. And so the organization that you asked about, which the acronym for Sultana Historic Preservation Society, Inc. is SHPS or SHPS. The mission of the organization is twofold. First, of course, and foremost, is to nationally tell the story of the Sultana but that the story was hidden from the American public and to give these 2,200 people and these 2,000 soldiers their rightful place in history so that they can be remembered. The second part of our mission statement is to make known the important role that the Mississippi River and these people played in the American Civil War. One great lesson was learned. When you examine the Sultana, tragedy and you know the story, you realize that it was the culmination of the American Civil War. The people involved were Union soldiers. These men put their lives on the line and they fought in battles, they were captured, they suffered, and then they were betrayed on their way home by their own officers. Their sacrifice should be remembered and the lesson learned from their sacrifice is that our country was saved at that point and can always be saved despite our differences.